the flock has grown. We had a lot of storms this past week. Flash flooding. Creek across the street rows flooded out the neighbor. Washed out the road. In those conditions in past years, uh, our yard would have been flooded completely from all the way back to those woods up to this little mound here where the septic's at. Flooded all the way over there. Now don't get me wrong, we have a little bit of water there. But the rest of the yard has soaked up all of that water thanks to our sheep doing their job to add biomass. They bring the ecosystem back to life. The sheep add nutrition to the soil. They bring the bugs back to eat the poop. And that brings with it all kinds of stuff. You get the funguses back in the soil. The mycelium network comes to life. Because it has something to eat. And with that you get richer soil and earthworms and and you get molds and that helps aerate the soil it increases water retention and we have like mud I mean it's not muddy it's dirt it's soil it's not like I'm sinking in making sloshy sounds like I used to or the, the soil our sod used to float on top of the the water that sat on the sand layer that we have here. And now all of that's bonded together. So much more than it used to be. It's working. It's working. And they do a heck of a job keeping the, the grass nice. Nice enough. For me. No, no, my problem is I've got sticks all over the lawn because they don't do much about that. Some dead bushes, trees they debarked. You gotta deal with those. Uh, so that they, you know, some trees handle it okay. You know, anything that was tall enough uh, did okay. Some of them can handle, handle it. Uh, but others, they didn't make it. Uh, this is a pear tree. Didn't make it. That was a bush. Well, that, that pear tree made it. There's some over here. That one's struggling. Our, uh, our curly willow has had quite a bit of storm damage. And they've eaten it bare and i got to get in there and get those limbs out. But they've been keeping the the grass tight where I put the fence in was in the woods. There was a there's a path I cut through the woods right there. And they have cleared it to the fence. Uh, most of that was tall grass and uh, saplings and whatnot at the edge of the woods there but I just I just cut a path with the, the mower to put the put the fence up and they did the rest for the most part there's a lot of bush hogging our dog does an excellent job keeping an eye on the sheep doing her job just peaceful.
nuts or uh, cinnamon or actually no that's not cinnamon that's cinnamon uh, that was our rim that we thought was a U until he got a little bit older uh, and is descended a bit now he's very obviously a ram a pretty one got some more some have done a better job at shedding this year than others you can tell which ones are in their first year or their second or their third by how much they shed about this time of year they just spread out in the line in the morning and the evening this time of year it's pretty hot and muggy there's a little pretty oh, I'm pretty sure she's going to eat that tree my daddy did it Pretty ones this time. Lisa, I think she's pretty. goldish tan puts on the white uh, white wool it's very very attractive he's a more classic black belly with the with the katahdin cross gives him a little bit more wool he'll shed that out next year Move across the across the lawn. We've got some stayed behind a little. They're a lot more comfortable now than they were. So that's that, and then the ducks came out. Those are our khaki Campbells. Doing their job. Keeping the, the bugs down, the ticks out. And they love the, the little flood water we had. What little of it we did get. They stay together much more than the chickens ever did. And they, uh, they seem a little hardier. They've, they stayed in their coop for the first many weeks. Actually, I don't know how, how long, it was quite a while. But now they're out, they're doing their thing. The dog is 
not sure they should be allowed out. So she still gets anxious and riles them back towards the Duke every now and then. I have to give her a, a word to stop her, but then she follows close. Keeps an eye on them. And they, if she gets too close, they just go back to what they were doing. On the other side, we've got their coop over close to the house a little bit. Keep an eye on them. a little bit next to the driveway and there's a little bit of water there enjoying it's the little bit of flooding I was talking about ducks love it Piper drags all her treasures. So there's a broken flower pot and a bunch of sticks, some trees that she found that were hers. Now they surrender to the puddle. one with the lamp there. You suspect that the dog played a little rough with her. It doesn't help that my little one likes to try to catch them with a net, chase them. It's hard to be in a kid, I guess. But, uh, they'll be fine. Algae show up on that little flood in like a day. And this is what, uh, four days, three days later? Three days later. Maybe four days later. Or I started on Wednesday. There they go.